What up guys, another day fishing with AP. Just stopped at the Dick's Sporting Goods and grabbed a little bit of the Guggen Bait sauce out here in Chicago, Illinois. Let's make it happen. I'm going weightless Texas rig. I got the uh, that on the spinning setup right here. And then I've also got a uh, little Corrado on a favorite rush. I've never actually used the rush with a jig on here. Blue baby. That'll do. It's on deck to say the least though. We're ready <laughs> if the pond is here. Look at this setup. How sick is this, guys? Yeah. We, uh, we just have a quick question for you. Why are the the Cosmo seasonings and the Bucky's kayak out here? What could you possibly? Oh, There's <laughs> <laughs> just like seasonings and like the Jumbo looks like you took a poop inside of it. Oh, it's a piece of shit, man. <laughs> Thing catches toes, bro. <laughs> we, we're just we're just wondering if you like had some steaks over here we could grill up or something. Oh, yeah, you were grilling out here. He was giving the seasonings to one of our buddy's dads, and I guess they forgot to give it to him, and they just left him in the kayak along with all of their garbage. So, yeah, Matt Rungi, huge shout out to you, bud. AP's just hooking us up at the moment with the battery uh, for the uh, old trolling motor up front. Mann Kota, old tricks. <laughs> it's a, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not a top of the line Mann Kota. It's a good Mann Kota. We're about to get out here. Check this place out. Let me just do a quick pan. The place is, it looks amazing. All right, let's get out here. I think we're, I think we're in. Yep. I'll throw the jig for variance and then whoever catches the first fish, we'll just. Okay. <laughs> I think we're straight. <laughs> All right, so how do I power this thing on? Oh, I need to be standing up there. Shoot, maybe I should fish the back of the boat. I don't know if I got confidence into all this. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me just chill. Oh, there's an arrow key on this thing. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, we got her dialed. Look at that. That's a huge carp. And I got a bite. Oh. Set her too fast. There's fish over here, you guys. Oh, AP's linked. He's linked. Oh, it's huge. Look at all those bobbers. This is the spot right here. The locals know. I'm just chilling. I got, I'm on this little seat up front here. Life is good. Okay, here we go. Time on the blue baby crack and crawl this jig, which it matches perfectly. Okay. One, two. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> Come here, baby. Oh, that's not, that ain't gonna fly. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. First fish is actually a decent one, you guys. And then he takes me under. Here we go. Jig with the bandito bug, slays one. I had it popping down that bank, just kind of scurrying down that drop off and he was hanging out right on the edge of it. Check him out, decent fish right there. Out here at the Chicago Ponds, you guys just cranked a little, I'd say closing in on two pounds if he's not, and uh, having a blast doing it with the man, AP Bassin. And AP caught a couple on the slim shake. I was throwing the jig, not having too much luck for the first five minutes. We really have not been out here very long. And then cranked this point over here and just reeled him in, man. So I'm gonna keep throwing that jig for a few more minutes. Maybe have the opportunity to cash in on a couple more. First John boat fish in Chicago. Go on, kid. Nap some more. I just want to apologize for my shaky camera equipment because of too much coffee this morning. So, kids, stay away from coffee if you're trying to film. I'm sorry. Duncan hooking us up this morning. Back in action. Let's get back to casting. Yeah, get in here with me. This is this is good. I think I'm gonna just give this one cast a full send over here and see if anything's hanging out against this wall. I have higher hopes for this right here, but it also looks like something that's good for that slim shake that AP's throwing. So I'm gonna just let him have it for a second. Right off this point right here, here we go, here we go. Yeah guys, so AP's doing a uh, Dick Sporting Goods budget bass video. I'm using a little bit of his high dollar gear. <laughs> and he's actually using nothing but uh, 30, 35 bucks worth of stuff from, like I say, Dick Sporting Goods. So you'll have to check out this video. I'll leave it linked in the description. I'm in a backlash, that's the thing. Look. And then, and see? <laughs> he said that's not bad. <laughs> Here's where you get a fish on when you're fixing these back lashes. Yep, do your thing, please. Cause I got bigger fish to fry. One, two. <laughs> so that's fish number two, and I ain't got time to pull out the big camera cause AP's way ahead of me with another fish, so I gotta start cranking these suckers. Whoop. Dude, right along that edge, I'm telling you. 
Really? A little, little top water deal? Okay, let me see what happens. Okay, so I'm just gonna crank the jig over here. Just gonna kind of pop them, pop them along the top. That would be a berserk blow up. This crack and crawl might as well be a top water frog. Seven, three, heavy. Is that a big one? Oh, he's sizable. There you go. Oh no, stole the slim. Don't worry, I got you back. <laughs> How sick would it be to pull one out of that bridge? Cast on top of the stuff there. I'm gonna do your technique on that real fast. I gotta just at least try. Watch this, you guys. It's so shallow too. There could be just a bass hanging right underneath this muck. I'm just gonna pop the jig through here. Oh, beautiful cast, beautifully done. Come on, baby, top water frog style bite. Let's go. I know you're here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's a frog. Oh no, it's a frog. <laughs> I almost got a frog. Speaking of frogs, <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought that was a bass just like making his way. 12.15 at the uh, at the dock or 12.15 big swirl. Um, make it back that way. I think I have one, I think I have one. Got him. It's tough to say because we're moving over here. <sighs> I think that's numero tres. Number three, oh, he'll lope. I believe this is number three. Oh god dang, he is flipping and flopping. We are just killing the bank line over here. I'm up to three fish. I just wanted to mention these crack and crawls are a perfect jig trailer. So if you're uh, curious what to throw on the tail end of your jigs, and it's great, depending on your jig size, you can just take a section or two off that crack and crawl. And I wanted to point out that Shop Carl's, if you're a Carl's Club member, you can save 30% on all your baits to crank some giants like your boy right here. And uh, and it literally takes the Guggen baits down to like $4.19 a pack at the time of making this video. So head on over to Shop Carl's. I'll leave it at the top of the description. Get 30% off your baits, guys. We got about 20 more minutes. Let's snag a few more. Just a few more. <laughs> we need a little, a little big in though. We need a five pounder is what Weston needs. Forgot what state I'm in. Wisconsin yesterday, Texas the day before. We're trying to crank a Chicago, Illinois giant. This is sick. How much does this rig cost? I gotta get me one. We're gonna shoot across this thing, guys, and I'm trying to get some friendly budget advice on the uh, John boat from Old AP over here. So you say that what the motors, the, this this foot controlled uh, trolling motor is about 300 bucks. The John boat itself, just the shell, is probably. Well, if you wanna buy it new ish, or used? Used. Used. Couple hundred bucks. Couple hundred, Couple hundred bucks for a shell like this, and then and then the, the carpeted stuff. Y'all did that. Yeah. Yeah. So the oh yeah, top speed. We are booking it. So you're talking about a whole thing for well under a grand right yeah well under a grand for your battery and for the whole setup so i might get something like this to do some pond hopping videos let me know down below if you guys enjoy this i'm enjoying it that's for sure and uh, we might just have to pick us up a little garage setup we have i immediately identified the nuts over here we got this little drain gonna be pushing in all kinds of goodies for these bass to munch on or the bait fish to munch on which in turns mean the bass feed on them almost all my fish have been hitting as i'm just not even working this jig just letting it drop so i'm trying to go as slow as I can, work this thing as slow as possible right now. Are you gonna go for him with the worm? <laughs> no way. I can't tell. I've got something heavy on here. I don't think it's a, it's a fish. Oh my God, it's a fish. Did you see that? That was big, that was big. I didn't even set it. It was just kind of heavy, but we're moving and I couldn't even tell. Oh my God, I should have said it. I don't want to look like an idiot. That was stupid. That was stupid. Hook sets are free. Oh. Mmm, but the pain is the pain comes with the price. <laughs> that was my biggest one. That, I don't know if it's the biggest one. You saw you, I was right here. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> right under the boat. I just carried him up and he's like, oh no, thank you. How did I let that fish go? God. I saw him and I think I just assumed he was hooked. I was just like, oh I'm just gonna lift him up. <laughs> he hooked himself. Trolling motor. Cut to the left, dang it. Look at that drain. Ooh. Wow. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, if I catch one right here, it's not its not me. It's not my skill. <laughs> Alex is getting us right where we need to be. Am I on? Am I on? Am I on? Dude, it's a 10. It's a 10. AP's casting skills. Oh my gosh, see? That's why you really got to practice your casting, guys. <laughs> Ow. Oh my God. This is my nail. Okay, I got it. That was sketchy. All right, guys, this might be my last one of the day. We're still going to fish a little bit of the shoreline here, but uh, check us out. AP just skipped us under this tree. I was telling him how juicy this little, uh, what the hell is that, drain, how juicy this drain looked right here. And he's like, let me show you the ways of the wizard. He whipped us in there, handed me the rod, and uh, look what we pulled out, man. Solid little chunk. I'm digging it. This is a fun day of fishing, you guys. I'm having a blast out here. Let's get him back in the water, try and snag a few more. We got limited time, so uh, let's get back to it. 
All right, that's all on the jig so far with the crack and crawl. You guys got to pick up some jigs, and I'm going to get us out of this tree before uh, Peric uh, <laughs> passes. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. OG moves right here. Oh, I lost my slim shake. Oh, no. You got to risk it if you want the biscuit, man. We were going for gold, and we came out with the bronze medal. <laughs> He's got to re-rig. on is just bacon. I don't even have to work the motor now. We just cruising. The wind is really pushing us. Oh, look at that, right in the shade. And I'm right by this, I just dropped right by this column. Here we go, this is a bite. This is a bite waiting to happen. Okay, he's gonna pick up my slack. <laughs> Peric and I are in the money here. This is, this is gonna happen. Something is here, something's here. Oh, solid. Yes, yes. Hook out. Benefits of fishing off a boat. Can, generally speaking, save 99% of your goodies. Wow, there just has to be a bass right here. I just messed that up, probably. <laughs> this thing is... <laughs> I got her a little... Skirt. There we go. Working out the kinks here. <sighs> they keep the tension loose up north. My carado's dialed a little tighter. Oh, I got him! Oh, yes! <laughs> like I say, backlash recovery, baby. <laughs> Hungry little puppy right here on the bank. Oh, and we got him good. Wow. Okay, there we go. Another one on the jig, baby. Hey, P's got a good one, guys. Oh my God. <gasps> He's on. Oh, you spit the bait, dude. Oh, we thought he came off. And that is why you use the little wacky worm on the shade lines, because you don't need that weight and it doesn't get caught in the grass. Oh. oh. <laughs> Barely hooked, watch this. Hold on, hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> Just plop ants, we're docking, boys. Well. This is a makeshift dock. <laughs> we had a great time. I think we literally snagged all those fish in maybe an hour or less. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit up the Catchco MTB Carl's Bait and Tackle headquarters in Chicago. Maybe do a little urban or downtown fishing. I don't know what's in store as far as the fishing, but I definitely wanna check out some behind the scenes of the warehouse. We'll see you guys on the next episode. I hope you enjoy this. We're gonna do a little behind the scenes again of the Catchco HQ. So we will see you on that one. Till then. Peace out. <gasps>